Hello everyone, I'm Peng Fei from Huawei Cloud. Today I present our paper, One Sided RMA Conscious Extendable Hash in for the Regaged Memory. First, I briefly introduce the research background. Memory segregation has attracted uh, extensive attention from both industry and the academia. As shown in this figure, it decovers monolithic memory and uh, computer resource in data centers and uh, forms independent compute and uh, memory resource pools. Due to resource pooling and uh, independent hardware deployments, segregated memory joins the benefits of improving research resource utilization, failure isolation, and uh, elasticity. On the other hand, distributed in-memory hash index has become a fundamental building block in many data center applications. Our paper focused on designing an efficient hash index for disaggregated memory. Before analyzing hash index in disaggregated memory, we first show how a hash index works in a monolithic server. As shown in this figure, our table is stored in local memory, and the CPU directly operates the local hash table using node and store instructions. In contrast, in the disaggregated memory architecture, compute and memory source are decoupled, and thus the hard table is stored in the remote memory pool. The CPU in the compute pool uses the one sided RDMA verb to operate the remote hard table. Nevertheless, it's long travel to achieve an efficient hash index in the architecture due to several big changes. The first change is how to deal with hash conditions. In order to deal with hash conditions, existing hash in schemes incur significant data movements overhead. Those data movements are executed by many remote reads and writes. Each read or writes produce one RDMA RTT. For example, in Google hashing, it is using eviction to deal with hash conditions. For insertion, it may produce tens of iterative evictions that vary in poor performance. The second example is hop scotch hashing. It looks up an empty bucket by executing linear probe. After finding an empty bucket, it also needs to iteratively move items that's producing many remote reads and writes. The third example is chain hashing. It links the conflicting items in the linked list. However, all index requests need to traverse a linked list and uh, add or deletion, delete load in the, in the list. So there are also many serial remote accesses. The second change is remote concurrency control. To support concurrency control, um, lock based techniques are widely used. However, in disaggregated memory, each locking or unlocking operation produces one RDMA RTT. Especially for hash indexes with many data movements, it needs to acquire many nodes significant decrease in their performance. The third change is hash table resizing. In the full table resizing, we need to create a new hash table in the memory pool and move all items from the old table into the new table. To execute the resizing in the class CPU to read the item from the old table to the computer pool side, and then reinsert them into the new table. Due to moving all items, it incurs high overhead. Sustainable resizing aims to reduce the resizing overhead by partitioning the part table into many subtables and using a directory to index those subtables. The directory index uses the suffix of the key hash. For example, all keys with hash suffix 00, 0 are stored in the first subtable. All keys with the hash suffix 0, 01 and 11 are stored in the second subtable. If one subtable is full and the subtable is shared by more than one directory entries, for example, the second subtable, it will trigger the subtable resizing. It creates a new subtable and move all KV case with the suffix 11 into the new subtable. If one subtable is full and the subtable is not shared by more than one directory entries, it will trigger the directory resize. This, uh, this is to use three bits to index the subtables. 
However, if we put the extendable hard table in the digital memory, it incurs one extra RDMA RT for searching the hard table because it needs to first read the directory and then search the subtable. In summary, there are three changes for designing a hash index in disregarded memory. To address those changes, we propose race hashing, an RDMA conscious extendable hashing. First, race hashing leverage a one sided RDMA conscious table structure that only needs two or three RDMA RTs to execute all kind of index requests and effectively deal with hash conditions. Second, Resharshing leverage a logs free scheme to deal with the remote concurrency control. Third, Resharshing leverage an extendable resizing with stale rate to reduce one extra RDMA for accessing the directory. This is an overview architecture of Resharshing. The Resharshing table is stored in the memory pool. The client in the compute pool stores the directory in their local cache. Thus, for search requests, with hashing first look up the directory using local access, and then use RDMA verbs to access only the subtable. We then present how to design the subtable structure to minimize the number of RDMA attitude for each request. Our subtable is a bucket area. We use three major design choices to deal with hash conditions. The first is associativity. Each bucket includes case slots. The second is two choice. Each key corresponds to two locations in the subtable using two independent hash functions. The third is overflow collocation. Three continuous buckets are considered as a bucket group. The first and the last bucket are addressed by the hash function. The middle, box, the middle bucket is overflow bucket and shared by the first and last bucket to share to store conflicting items. By doing so, first, restarting is RDMA search friendly because our search is involved in only two combined buckets, and thus produce two RDMA rates. The two RDMA rates are executed in parallel. Therefore, our subtable search is one RT rather than two RT. Second, restarting is also RDMA in search intuition and update friendly because IDO requests only need to operate within the to come by buckets without moving or deviating item from or to other buckets or linking new buckets. Third, resharshing is memory efficient by combining associativity to choice and application to achieve a high load factor. To support the load free concurrency control in resharshing, we design a bucket structure as shown in this figure. A bucket includes a header and a multiple slots. The header and each slot is 8 bytes, and hence supports the atomic modification using an RDMA class. The slot includes an 8-bit fingerprint of the key and an 8-bit lens. The last 48 bits is the pointer to the full KV blocks. The KV block includes the key lens, van lens, key van, and the CRC checksum. The header includes the lock dips and the suffix used in this subtable. Based on the bucket structure, we present the lock free algorithm. First, we introduce the search algorithm. In the first RT, we read the two combined buckets in parallel and look for the target key fingerprint. Upon find in the second RT, the client reads the KV block. For the insertion in the first RT, we use the two combined buckets, and at the same time, we run the new KV block in the memory pool. In the second RT, we insert the pointer of the KV block in the hard table using an RDMA class. In the third RT, we double check the combined bucket to detect the duplicate insertion. For the deletion, in the first RT, we use the combined buckets. In the second RT, we use the KV block to the K comparison. In the third RT, we remove the key pointer in the subtable using the RDMA RTG. For the update, we read the combined bucket and read the new KV block in the same time. In the second RT, we read the other KV block to do the key comparison. In the third RT, we update the pointer to the new KV blocks using RDMA class. 
In summary, a search is captured in using two attitudes, and an um, insertion, deletion, or update is captured using three attitudes. Next, I introduce the remote get returnable resizing. To reduce one extra RDMA read for access the directory, we cache the directory in the client. It incurs a cache in concurrent problem. That is, when resizing occurs in the memory pool, the directory is changed. Hence, the directory in the client cache becomes stale. As shown in this figure, in the client cache, the directory entry 11 points to the second subtable. Directory entry 11 in the memory pool points to the new subtable. So accessing the stale directory may read the wrong data. To address this problem, we propose a stale read client cache directory cache scheme. Specifically, as shown, as mentioned before, we store the local tips and the suffix in each bucket header. By using the header, we can do correctness check. There are three cases when using the stair directory as shown in this figure. Only in the third case, the key and the bucket header mismatch. We can observe the bucket is not correct and then centralize the new directory entries. Next, let's see how to resize in the directory. To support the directory resizing, we pre-allocate a large enough memory area to store the directory. The starting address is fixed and the directory includes the used area and the unused area. Each entry is also added to support other makeups. To do a directory resizing, we we'll first increase the global diffs and then extend the used area. It's worth to load last the Plant directory cache only needs to cache the user area. Our evaluation uses four client machines and one memory pool machine. We use the YSID workload and compare with hashing with GitHub pool hashing from hopscotch.tm class hashing. For file comparison in the disaggregated memory, we implement their one sided admin versions. That is, all operations in the our tables are also executed using one side in other main box. The two figures show the insertion performance. An insertion in with hashing only has three attitudes, and other hash indexes have several or up to tens of attitudes, especially for cool hashing in a high load factor. The performance is poor. Therefore, with hashing delivers the best insertion performance. The two figures show the search performance. Our search in with hashing has only two attitudes, like the code hashing. They deliver the best search performance. The two figures show the deletion performance, as deletion in with hashing has only three attitudes and other hashing index needs to use locks. Uh, with hashing improves the deletion throughput by up to two times compared with other hashing scheme. The two figures show the update performance. The hashing also delivers the best update performance due to the loop freedom and RDMA control table structure. This figure shows the performance under WSSB hybrid workload. The hashing performance uh, performs the best due to the best insertion and the search performance. This figure shows the benefit of stale read client care directory cache scale. It's a SRCG cache reduces one extra RDMA RTD for accessing the directory. It reduces all request latency by 20 to 30 percent. percent. Finally, I'll conclude our paper. Traditional distributed mem in memory hashing index become inefficient in distributed uh, disaggregated memory. We propose this hashing, the first hashing index design for disaggregated memory. Our ex experimental results show that with hashing outperforms the state of the art distributed in memory hashing index by up to 30 times in WSLB hybrid workload. That's all. Thanks for your listening.